Hi, um, I'm just making this video for some people who might be struggling with how to balance the wheels on an axle at the back of their camper van. This is only for demonstration purposes and I'm only going to be working off one wheel. But as, as you watch the video you'll understand what I'm doing. I've came into my van and my hand brake there is fully applied. Now, your next job you want to do is put a chock in under the front wheel. You say for ease the most important to put a chock in under the front wheel. Obviously jack up the camper van, but never guarantee that a jack is 100% safe. There's always a chance that um, a seal could break in that. And if that seal breaks it and you're in under your camper van, um, you're in a bit of trouble. So as a second measure, always and always use um, a good jack stand. The jack stand I'm using there, I think is four ton, and my camper's about that. But that's the total camper. The four ton and the one axle should be quite sufficient. Now, as you can see, I have the what we're going to call our right wheel on axle two. It's on a full hand brake. And as you can see here now, I have my fitting and extension bar and I attach a long bar. And off the top of that, I have two gallons of liquid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate, we're going to remove this. So now we're looking at a left wheel. And literally, this is what an imbalance is. So we're going to come in, we're going to release our handbrake, and we're only going to come up one, one click. Now, if we go back to what is now our left wheel, One second. On our left wheel now, it's, we have no, it's just our um, power bar. And with the gentlest of pressure, you can see we can move this. So now what we want to do is we want to get that left wheel and that brake wheel to be the right wheel sorry to have the same amount of pressure applied to both wheels on the same axle so what we would do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stick a camera because it's very hard to show on this phone but if you have, on my van anyway, if you have one of the um, receivers for your wheels and you have this at top dead center, roughly in behind here, there is a unit like this. And you can see on here, hopefully, you can see those teeth. Those teeth, if you can adjust those with a screwdriver. Unfortunately now, this is the only one I could find in my shed and it's absolutely seized. But just behind the hub, one of these sits. So I'm gonna stick a little camera in there and hopefully, right. Now I have my camera and I'm gonna show you what I'm watching on my other phone. Can you see that little cog there? That cog, what you do is you put in, um, you would put in a skinny screwdriver. I only have like a face tester. It's only for demonstration. And you will move that cog in there and you will hear it click. And each time you click that, you only need to give it a couple of clicks each go. 
these um, parts here on the end will actually spread. So now what we're going to do is we know now that our wheel over on the right side is completely locked. One sec, we have to... One second, I have to put that phone down. We know that the wheel on the right side is, com is breaking perfect. It's completely locked up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the van and once again we're going to get our handbrake and we're going to go up another click. I think you might have heard that. Now, hopefully we're going to attach our socket which is on our extension bar. We're gonna take this tube and we're gonna feed it back down. And once again, what we are going to do, if I can see where the hook just fell to. Well, here it is. I have to find it. We are going to put the hook on the end of that pipe and we're going to attach a gallon of water or fluid doesn't have to be water anything at all sorry I had to put that phone down now I'm just about to leave the weight on there right so that's holding at that let's add another one and we'll see um I'm so sorry, this is a little bit awkward trying to film this on my own. We're going to attach. Sorry about that. We're attaching a second drum of water. Sorry. Hold on, I'm just getting someone to hold this camera for me now. We're going to attach two gallons of water. One second. I think that holds better this side. Now, as you can see, that is actually on the, on the, it's hitting the pavement there. So we're still not balanced properly. So what we're going to do is we'll remove them. And we're going to go back inside and we're going to apply the handbrake to one more click. Now you just heard that click. Now we can attach the fluid, which I know is not going to budge because my... Um, the two wheels on this axle are actually fairly well balanced. I think we've been hold on this heavy now. One second, it's not even budging. Let's just move this up and we'll see. I might have a bit more luck at this now. Sorry now, this is a little awkward, I'm trying to attach the two bottles. As you can see now, them two bottles are not budging. And our left wheel now is roughly holding with the same force as the wheel on the right side. If it's a thing, that the left wheel is um, moving down with the um, fluid attached to the bar. As I said, as I've already shown you, that um, unit there is literally situated, when you're top dead center, that should literally be situated just behind where that um, nut is. You get a screwdriver, you just get their little cogs and when you move them you will hear them clicking 
I can show you kind of on this. Uh, unfortunately, it's seized. This is what you're going to be pushing, which, um, I'm so sorry. This will lift and it will move up and it will keep that locked in position. So all you're doing is actually just pushing this and this will be clicking and it will be holding um, this um, cogged kind of wheel as I'd call it to stop it from closing back in and that is basically how you balance the back wheels. Um, I hope this benefits somebody who, who has a problem with uh, an imbalance on uh, one axle and uh, I've done my best to try to explain to you it might look a bit awkward and clumsy the way I'm trying to do this off the one wheel but it meant otherwise I was having to take off two wheels get my two jacks and there was just too much missing and I was only trying to demonstrate on how to balance so I hope somebody finds this helpful and um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Okay, goodbye.